Hi, it's actually been five years since I did my last $50 uh, eBay oscilloscope video. I've done uh, two of them and how to get a 50 buck uh, analog crow on this digital rubbish on uh, eBay for 50 bucks. I thought we'd do it again and see if we can actually get it. This comes about on the EV blog forum where a beginner posted today that uh, they were tossing up between a Hitachi V222 uh, oscilloscope and a Tektronix uh, 465, like, you know, old school, like early 70s vintage, both over a hundred bucks. And it's like, okay, but anyway, I thought, let's see what we can find. Yes, sorry, this is going to be eBay US, okay? It's totally different. Much harder to find them here in Australia or in other countries or whatever possibly, but sorry, I've got to pick a country. We're going to go into uh, oscilloscopes and vectorscopes category. Um, it's still got vectorscopes anyway. They set it up like decades ago and it's it's stuck around ever since. Uh, and they've changed the format now. I'm not a fan of this format down here. Anyway, condition, what we want is used. Uh, you could actually, sometimes you can miss scopes if you choose a particular category or any item. This refers to any item on eBay. Uh, some people won't put uh, used, they'll actually put broken because there might be some legal liability in selling it or stuff like that. But we'll just go with uh, used scope okay and especially like it it's probably better to try and get it from like at least a competent uh used test equipment dealer or something like that but usually you're going to pay a lot more um and of course i've mentioned you've got to set up ebay watch lists if you can't find anything you'll at least from doing these sorts of searches you'll know various search terms that you can set up and get email watch lists that's how i get all my bargains on ebay that's how everyone scores their bargains on ebay usually is uh, by setting up keyword watch lists and you can not only set up keywords but price filter um as well location searches and all that sort of stuff so you know if shipping's too expensive you can only search like locally so you can go pick it up now we have to just choose buy it now or best offer or auction we can't do multiple uh, ones so we'll just uh, select them all at the moment but price let's go a hundred bucks maximum let's see what we can get right off the bat here a Tektronix TDS 320 now these are famous like failing and if they fail it's usually like they're hard to fix push clear power on self test pass 100 meg jobby dual channel Looks in good nick, and that is 500 meg samples per second, so that easily meets the Nyquist uh, sampling rate. They're dated now, but still a very usable scope once again you have to search for like sold prices recently sold prices to see what they go for that that's already got two bids on it okay so you're probably not going to get that for your 50 bucks anyway let's move along like you don't want one of these uh, old non-linear systems vintage stuff no you don't want any of that but te tested and power on tektronix 320 there's, there's, once again, you might bid on these and you might use some uh, sniping software to get these at the last second. Uh, I know a lot of people hate them, but I use them myself. I use Just Snipe. Um, it's just the one I've always used for like phew, decades now. 2465. Oh, look at that. That will get a lot of bids. These are 2465s are incredibly popular it's just come on a few hours ago i think they've put it up for six days but uh yeah so you won't you won't get that one you're possibly looking for you know you're more non-mainstream uh brands usually you might get your hitashis you might get your gw instex you might get your uh kikasuis something like that price and shipping lowest first okay so look at this not available <laughs> what that's a kenwood for a dollar free pickup from Spokane, Washington. No, I don't know whether or not that's a fake account or whether or not what's going on there. No, that's that's dodgy as so. Uh, yeah, I don't go for that. Okay, just to make this quicker, I'm going to select the buy it now option. Okay, as I said, we might be missing out on bargains by actually uh, doing this, but let's just let's just go, shall we? We've only got the parts now. This is really annoying, but this is what you get when you search by the uh, lowest price first <laughs> i don't know where people bother selling these things for like you know 15 bucks and stuff like that like it's just it's just not worth your time to photograph it and list it and everything else no nope, i probably should have put a minimum on there but once again you can miss bargains yeah this is just getting silly now but we are looking for 50 bucks so if you want your bargains you got to do the time oh, there's so much crap on ebay us i'm on the 10th page now here's a leader dual trace jobby for 25 bucks that's, that's a really old one but state of a height like you might go pick that up or something for 25 bucks eh, 
you can get better. We really need to sort by price, not by sort by price by shipping. They've actually removed it. You used to have the option that you could do just by price. So annoying. Going to just go back to best match because we actually, we're getting oscilloscopes here. Okay, here's a Kikasui, right? COS 5060. My first uh, oscilloscope was the Kikasui COS 5020. It was the 20 megahertz version. These are excellent scopes, right? This is the 60 megahertz, uh, dual time base. In fact, at three channels, because it's got a, uh, you can use the uh, external uh, trigger as another channel. Oh, a bit of stain near the power button there. But otherwise, right, looks got the vernier. For the delayed time base, uh, they, they only show one trace there. It turns on, but don't know how it works. It's the standard, either they do and they're bullshitting, or whether or not uh, they just generally have no clue what this thing is. You know, this, this seller. There's a Tektronix 434. That's a uh, dual st like storage scope. That's so old. Honestly, I wouldn't touch that. Okay, let's search for specific ones. Let's search for Hitachi. And digital storage. <laughs> oh, that's ancient. Those ancient digital storage scopes, they're not worth it, really. Here's a pre-owned, 40 bucks. Like, you might be able to pick pick up that, right? Nobody's going to bid on it. That one's actually quite nice. Yeah, that's the VC6020. Not, oh, non-store. Oh, that's got storage. It's, it's not hugely old in the scheme of things yeah you can see oh sorry i can't move my cursor but you can see that the main time base is in xy mode so that's why it's getting the dot so i like this person obviously has no idea how to use it or if they do they're trying to hide the fact that it's got no trait yeah that that's all you get but heck for 40 bucks right if you bid on that especially if you can pick it up if you're in michigan for example you definitely pick that up for 40 bucks no worries like you know you may not pay postage for that perhaps if you're really looking to save cost then yeah you want to actually go and pick it up but here here's a hitachi v triple two oscilloscope now this could be the one that the uh person on the forum was talking about excellent scope this was my first oscilloscope that i used at uh my first job excellent great sharp trace on it Mwah. Beautiful, very reliable, very simple. Um, it's only 20 megahertz uh, dual channel. You can get like 60 megahertz, 40 and 60 megahertz versions. Excellent working condition. It shows both traces there. It's a hundred bucks. Would you pay a hundred bucks for it? Eh, probably not. That's a little bit pricey, I think. But there's one. There's a Hitachi part it's sold as parts only. That's got the cursor one. So yeah, that, that's got like oh, tracking cursors and everything. It. I would take a chance on that. Because look, it's all, all, all the on-screen stuff is working. That's obviously just picking up noise. That effectively works. 50 megahertz, dual channel with curses and tracking. Well, oh, 69 bucks. Yeah, calibration not uh, guaranteed. There you go. Displays waveforms. Some of the controls might need cleaning. Yeah, includes, but no probes. Right. That's, that's not bad at all, but you know, there, there could be better. V212. 20 megahertz, dual channel. That, that looks in good nick. That's your basic dual channel, 20 megahertz scope. Once again, 60 bucks. You could argue, you know, there could be a you know, better value, a better bang per buck elsewhere. That's old. I wouldn't touch it. These older Hitachi ones, no, you can get better. There's a V1050. Uh, that's 50 megahertz uh, dual channel uh, jobby. Once again, another one here, 50 bucks as is read parts only, but it shows dual traces there. So it looks like you can still get, uh, <laughs> he's dreaming, <laughs> 249 bucks. It looks like you can, you could certainly get a nice Atashi for like, 50 bucks, well under 100 bucks. You can get five of them for 400 bucks. There you go. Whoa, what's a scope master? Wow, I've never seen that before. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> That's rare as. Hands up if you have one of those, but yeah, you wouldn't buy it. <laughs> 40 bucks, you might have a go, but <laughs> yeah, nah. There's a Hitachi uh, digital storage, storage one. Unfortunately, this is not going to have the real time bandwidth. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but you'll probably find that it doesn't meet the Nyquist uh, sampling rate and it's equivalent time sampling only. These older school digital ones, I wouldn't touch them, but that, that looks in pretty good nick. But they don't show it powered on or anything, so nah. <laughs> Tell him he's dreaming. <laughs> 28, <laughs> they have to be taking the piss. 2800 US dollars for a vintage four channel um storage come on no 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 oh wow i just sort of buy highest price and these are funny these are hilarious i think they're serious oh my goodness 
Now, searching for specific brands like GW Instec, uh, for example, uh, uh, like a really good brand that a lot of people don't know in here. Um, geez, uh, there's some real, <laughs> real pricey ones. Let's uh, let's go back by uh, lowest first, shall we? GW Instec Digitizing Scope for $109 or best offer, right? So, so you offer 99 bucks, 15 bucks standard shipping, Springfield, Ohio. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. It's only 100 meg samples per second. So, you know, you're only going to get like, eh, you know, 20 megahertz, like, you know, effective um, real-time uh, bandwidth. But if that, but that looks like, is that digital only? Yeah, that looks, is digitizing. I don't think it's an analog scope, but, oh, geez, for, for, no, for like, if you can pick that up for 99 bucks, I get like, oh, you know, you'd be tempted. That's it. It's still useful. I've I've never used one. I don't know what the UI is like. Whoa, what's what's wrong with the back there? <laughs> a bit of case uh, is damaged and stuff like that. In working order, it says, but they don't show it. But you know, like if you're after a, a digitizing scope with like 20 meg, but you know, it could be slow as a wet week. You just don't know. But still, right? <laughs> Cheap. Um, here's a here's a nice one. This is uh, I I actually put this uh, to the uh, person on the forum who was looking uh, for a scope because look uh, right because they were considering at the same price point they were considering a tech um, scope so I actually linked in this one and for 150 Yankee bucks right and free local pickup from Florida right so it looks like I don't know it looks like they don't ship it right so it might be only free local pickup it's a more modern model working where, like it's got full delayed uh, time base and on screen curses and everything four available right so they've got a whole bunch of them um you know probably from like a school somewhere that were just you know uh t tossing them out they got them some auction lot but here's one over here this person knows what they're doing right you, you can tell by the uh screenshot right because the screenshot's got all the it looks like it's got the uh zoomed uh waveform on there right no that's not a digital oscilloscope that's a um analog band that's an analog scope with a uh, digital readout and curses but once again 140 bucks they've got two of them available they obviously work that looks a bit blurry or is the camera doing that can't be 100 percent sure there but not a bad scope at all useful and here's where you can start getting right a name brand because gw instec are a name brand you can get one of their older model digital and digital scopes 150 meg offer them 150 if you can go pick it up good working condition more than 10 available yeah they've got a whole job lot they they got like a pallet load of these from a school or something gds 820c that's on look at gds 820c 150 meg that's got 125k memory 150 meg 250 meg bandwidth with the color or monochrome display is this the color or mono doesn't matter 20 uh, sampling rate it doesn't what's the real time sample rate on this thing <laughs> they're they're advertising as as a thing that where the the uh, equivalent time sampling it's not you don't want equivalent time sampling what is its actual sample rate it's got to only be like 20 meg sample per second no 100 100 meg sample per second maximum but once again you can get your 20 you know 30 meg bandwidth or whatever on that no problem offer them uh, you know 150 bucks or something and see if they take it they've got more than 10 available so they're probably willing they just want to clear these things out right from toy arcade <laughs> with 52,000 feedback so you're definitely going to get it it's definitely going to work right it's got an older clunky interface but geez like yeah 150 meg bandwidth uh dual channel digital scope I go with 100 meg sample per second sample rate i i, I could argue 195 bucks eh, a bit pricey but off from 150 oh we're getting them from israel now <laughs> all the finest beat up stuff it comes from israel <laughs> If, if you're old school eBay, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, I've done videos on this before. Uh, uh, HP, like a 54645D, still a very capable, it's a mixed signal scope, and it's it's 200 bucks. A, an excellent, useful scope. And, uh, you know, you can do it, you, do it yourself. Um, uh, logic analyzer probes, mixed signal scope. Does this thing like? We, we've got dual traces there. Uh, that's just a poor photo. What you'll get, just that, you don't get anything else, um, but it powers up, it guaranteed working, right, pulled from a working environment, sometimes it's BS, other times it, it's not. This this looks pretty genuine, 
I'd say e tech resale, right? They they said with fifteen thousand feedback, the vibe is good. So I I just say yeah, they just couldn't be bothered. Their photos aren't that great. <laughs> just the contrast in the uh, photos, but it looks like it 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 powers on for two hundred bucks. Do we have any Philips scopes? Ah, oh, not really. Once again, I'm sorting by price here. And I've done a video on a really nice uh, scope, which is the Tektronix Triple Two Five, for example. Goes down to 500 microvolts per division. Mwah. Beautiful. Um, but once again, you know they're older; they can have problems. But look, look what I found! Like more than 10 available in working conditions. Plural. Um, 99 bucks or make an offer. Are you kidding me? For a Tech Triple Two Five? Yes, please. From Surplus Electronics Miami. 3400 feedback. Right? They're obviously a professional test equipment merchant. Uh, merchant make an offer, right? They might not all look like that, perhaps, but, and uh, once again, they only show like a single trace on there. So, geez, imagine if you're in Miami, you pick one of those up for like make an offer and for 80 bucks, they got more than 10 available. They'd probably take 80 bucks for it. I'll take two for 150, please. And then you double your chances of getting a working one. Or you keep one for spares. Anyway, I don't want this video to be hugely lengthy, but as you can see, like you can pick up some potentially good, really useful functional scopes. Yes, you can get the $50 scope. It is it, it is still possible. They've got make an offer there. Offer them 150, like they've already reduced the price from 229 to 195 because a digital scope is going to be much more useful, of course, than an analog one. Even an, it's, I said this on the forum, even an advanced analog one, you know, with your dual time bases and your high bandwidth and everything else, I would rather have a really low end digital one so that you can do single shot capture than have a, a you know a top of the line bells and whistles a 2246 you know tech um you know bells and whistles uh scope the digital storage is more useful but you know if you're on a real budget um then you can easily pick up something useful for under 100 bucks easy even even for that 50 bucks but once again you don't have to go on ebay you can go on craigslist or whatever similar thing here in australia you might have gumtree uh for example you might try auction houses and stuff like that leave uh the name of your favorite like auction house uh, down below here in australia we've got uh, manheim grays on lines which isn't as good as it used to be and uh there's there's some other uh ones as well in the u.s there's probably tons of them but unfortunately often at those uh auction places uh you go into be bidding against the professional test equipment people like Toy Arcade here that get, you know, like they've got more than 10, right? They, they had at least 17 of these. <laughs> they bought a whole pallet load of this because the school was updating their scopes and they all work. You know, you might have to buy a pallet worth or something like that. So you're usually not going to pick up your onesies, twosies often from these auction houses. But as I said, as nice as these like uh, 2465 um, analog scopes are from tech and a lot of the tech, you can get a lot of the 300 uh, series, for example, as good as they are, they often have long-term failure modes um, and there's whole repair groups out there if you want to repair them but generally you know if you're a beginner you just want a scope that works so look for one look for a listing that has you know the dual channel showing up or as you saw if it just has a dot look for the controls to see if it's in xy mode or something like that and generally well at least you know the uh, eht uh, sections working in it but you know 95 percent of the time it's you know it's going to be uh working if you can like see a trace i would avoid like really ancient ones like this uh for example are they you know they're okay but like they're probably only going to give you uh trouble and then you could argue that uh well you know do you get something like a really cheap digital one like this or for what 350 US dollars, you can get a modern Rigol one, can't you? <laughs> Unless inflation has caused them to go up. Like, you know, so you don't want to pay too much. If you can get one for way less than half what you'd get a modern scope for, then again, you could argue the modern scope is like huge better bang per buck than something like this, for example. But I reckon if you could pick up something like that for 150 bucks, you know, that's a winner winner chicken dinner. Anyway, um, leave your thoughts and comments down below. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And remember, the EV Blog Forum, always linked down below. Test equipment section, best on the interwebs. And yeah, that's where everyone addicted to uh, the test gear is on the EV Blog Forum. So <laughs> there you go. Anyway, catch you next time. <laughs>